Hello, our dear kids! Look how many Thomases we have today! They will be competing against each other, but only one of them will become the winner. The first engine up here is… Treasure Thomas. The one that was trying to stop Sailor John risking his own life and eventually became a hero. What an adventure it was! Now, let me tell you the rules. An engine should push as many cars as he can to the very finish. The most valuable car is red. As many as 5 points. Then 4 points for the orange car, 3 for the yellow, 2 for green, and only 1 point for the blue car. And if an engine derails, he loses 1 point. Meanwhile, Treasure Thomas is crossing the finish line and gets 2 points. Let's see if next Thomases can beat this result. Streamline Thomas is the next one in line. This Thomas is very fast because of his redesigning and his special streamlined shape. Let's see if his speed helps him in this type of a challenge. Good luck to you, Streamline Thomas! Be careful, Thomas! Don't be in too much of a hurry! Oh man, Thomas is losing two cars in a row! Slow down, it's not racing! It seems like he's not listening to us. So, Streamlight Thomas gets only one point for his try. It turns out speed is not the most important factor in here. This time we have a truly magical engine, Winged Thomas. This kind of Thomas can fold out his wings whenever he needs them. In addition, he can use a special jet-like spoiler behind his coal bin. Well, let's see Thomas if the wings help you to push more cars. We wish you good luck! And what are we seeing here? It seems like Winge Thomas is not in hurry, taking into account the previous experience of Streamline Thomas. So far he's pushing up two cars. Come on, Thomas, come on! The third car is picked up. Winge Thomas is going down the ramp. And... Come on, come on! As a result of his careful riding, Wingy Thomas has managed to deliver three cars, whooping six points! Wow, that's the Thomas the Jet Engine, a super fast one, but we already know that speed is by far not the most important factor in this type of challenge. Let's check out how Thomas the Jet Engine copes with this task. I think using his jet engine is not a very good idea. It's not going to help Thomas in any way. The track has too many twists and turns. It's simply not safe. In the meantime, Thomas the jet engine is pushing up the yellow car, but he's losing it. It's okay, there's a green one and the blue one are still there. Thomas is going down the ramp and… yes! Thomas is bringing two cars to the finish. It means he gets two points for his try. The next one up here is Steelworks Thomas Train. Well, he looks just a little bit dirty here, but that's just because he was working hard at Steelworks. Hopefully this dirt will not interfere his performance. Let's wish him good luck. We can see Steelworks Thomas is moving two cars, and it seems like everything is just fine so far. Oops! He's losing the orange car right at the twist. But it's okay, he's picking up the third car anyway. Thomas is going down the ramp with three cars, and… Oh boy! He gets stuck right before the finish line! What a misfortune! Well, it means Steelworks Thomas gets 5 points. And now we have our last contender, Trophy Thomas. He's got one cargo car with him. We hope it won't be too hard for him to carry it along with other cars. 
Good luck to you, Thomas. Thomas is losing the red car, but he still has orange and the yellow one. Go, Thomas, go! Oh no! The orange car just derailed, but Thomas is confidently continuing his travel. Let's not forget what happened with the previous Thomas. Be careful! And Trophy Thomas repeats the result of Wingy Thomas, bringing three cars to the finish. It means we have two winners today. What a challenge! Thomas has demonstrated their very best skills today. The track was very challenging, but they all coped with it quite on a high level. I liked it so much today. Did you like it too? We hope you did. Subscribe to our channel, put likes and share this wonderful video with your friends. Press on the bell to always be updated about all our new videos. Goodbye! Hello our little friends! Today we will see competition between the reds and the blues. They will figure out which ones of them are more agile and stronger. The member of the red team! The engine number 5, James! Today he is going to demonstrate his skills first. Let me remind you that each car has a defined value, which you can see in the upper part of the screen. Moreover, if an engine needs our help to continue his ride, he loses one point. And meanwhile, James is doing his best to show a good result. Ah, James's wheel got off the track and he needs our help to continue the ride. And this means he will get one point fewer after the finish. And we see James is finishing with two cars, blue and green, bringing two points for his team. Timothy. The representative of the blue team is going to show us what he's got. Let's wish him good luck! Oh, such a pity! Timothy is losing the red car. Don't get upset, Timothy. Cheer up! And the orange car is falling off, but we should admit this twist is very tricky. Timothy, don't go too fast! Be careful! And... One... Two... Three cars are reaching the finish line! And this means Timothy bringing whooping six points for his team! Wonderful result! And now the red team will be represented by small but strong engine Mike. He's a very tough, robust and powerful engine. Usually he's busy working at the Arlesdale Railway, but today he decided to take part in this unbelievable challenge. In the meantime, Mike has already successfully lost his red car, but it didn't upset him. He is gladly continuing his challenge. Oops, one more car is gone. But it seems like Mike is smiling at all the troubles. The finish is approaching and... Oh no! Mike gets stuck right before the finish line. He's getting one point fewer, but anyway he received five points. Which is pretty decent result too! And now, please welcome Edward, the blue engine number 2, representing, as you might guess, the team of blues. Edward is one of the oldest engines, so it might be not easy for him to take part in this hard challenge. Unfortunately, I was right. Edward is falling off and he needs our help. Edward, 
be more careful, don't be in too much of a hurry, we are worried about you. Have a look how much effort he is making. We can clearly see that he's doing his best to show a good result in this challenge. Ah, and again, poor Edward is derailing. But don't worry, Edward will be fine. Keep on going, Edward! You can do it! And... Edward is crossing the finish with his cars getting only one point for his try. But the main thing is that Edward is all intact. And now give it up to... Victor! The winner of the previous Sibla Spiral Challenge. The chances of red team are becoming significantly higher having such a skilled engine with them. Look how confidently he's pushing the cars in front of him without losing any of them. How is he doing that? What is his secret? Four cars! Incredible! Woo! He has lost three of them! What a fatal mistake! This might cost his team a victory in this challenge. Victor's result is 3 points and the red team receives 10 points in total. Gordon is the next contender. One of the strongest, biggest and fastest engines on Soder Island. Today he's performing the last in our challenge. And his result will be decisive. It's enough for his team of blues to get only 4 points to win in this challenge. Well, it seems to be not very many, but as we noticed the previous engine's results, it will be no easy job. And especially for such a massive engine as Gordon. Here he's losing the yellow car, and he's got no right to make a mistake and lose even one car. Be more accurate, Gordon! Don't be in hurry! And... Here's the finish! Gordon is gaining 3 points! And this means his team of blues gets 10 points! It's a draw, my friends! Congratulations to all of our contenders! They have demonstrated all their skills and put up a real show today! We hope you liked it! And thank you so much for watching our videos! You are the best! Subscribe to our channel, put likes and share this video with your friends! Press on the bell to be always updated about all our new videos! Goodbye! Welcome to the challenge between only green engines! We will find out who is more powerful and agile among them! And the first engine trying his luck will be the RC, one of the youngest engines in Sodom. The task of each engine is to push as many cars as possible up to the ramp and then send them all to the finish. The most valuable is the red car, 5 points, orange, 4 points, 3 points for yellow, 2 for the green and only 1 point for blue car. And meanwhile, Percy is going down the ramp and bringing the green car across the finish line. It means Percy is getting 2 points for his try. Good job! The next engine in line is Henry. Let's wish him good luck! Henry is a mixed traffic fast tender engine. He is known for using a special Welsh coal to be always in good shape. Let's see if his high speed helps him on this quite a challenging track. So far, he has picked three cars. Oh man, he's losing two of them. Such a pity. And the yellow is gone too. Yeah, today's track is indeed very difficult. 
The engines must be careful today. Henry is going down with two cars. And... Ah, green car is off the track. And this means Henry gets only one point for his try. Now, we've got a lady engine, Emily. She is a very kind-hearted engine, but sometimes can be a little bossy. So, be careful, Emily. This track is by far not simple. It has many dangerous twists and ramps. So far, Emily is doing quite good, but she's got only one yellow car left. Come on, Emily! Oh boy, she's losing it! But let's hope she will keep the green car. Alright, Emily is going down with two cars. And... She's finishing the track receiving three points. And it's more than the others. Good job, girl! Gator is here as our next contender. He is a very brave large tank engine who resembles an alligator. So we hope he will not get scared of such a challenging track that we have today. Meanwhile, Gator is confidently going up with two cars. Oh, the orange car falls down. And the yellow one is off too. So, he's going down the ramp. And... Oh man, he loses the green car and he gets stuck himself. What a pity. Okay, Gator, you get only one point for your try. This time, Flying Scotsman is trying his luck at his incredibly difficult track. Let's wish him good luck! The engine is unbelievably fast, but I'm not sure it's going to help him with this kind of a challenge. Flying Scotsman is picking up the yellow car, but instead he's losing the orange one. Oh, and the yellow one is gone away too. Two cars up here. Flying Scotsman is descending down and... Only blue car reaches the finish. The engine gets only one point. Don't get upset, Flying Scotsman, it's okay. And the last engine up here is... Look, a small tank engine. But who knows, maybe his size will help him to overcome all the twists and other dangerous sections of the track. Let's see. Come on, look! Meanwhile, he's picking up the yellow car and continues his confident ride. Good, he's going up! And the green car is also taken up! Ah, the orange has just fallen off, but it's okay. Luke is going down the ramp. And... Wow! Three cars are reaching the finish line. Whooping six points. It's incredible. The smallest engine gets the most points in this unbelievably hard challenge. Congratulations, Luke! You did a great job! Today, we had an excellent contest between only green engines and the smallest engine became the winner! What a surprise! We hope you liked it, guys! Subscribe to our channel, put likes and share this video with your friends and don't forget to press on the bell not to miss any of our new videos! Goodbye!